Hey guys, as always, thanks for stopping by. Training, let's talk about that. Hey, every thumbs up is a huge help. Every comment down below, also a huge help. Make a little wind in here, a little bit of ambient noise. I'm watching the microphone. Maybe a little bit of wind. It's, I'm outside. Just finished a fantastic day here at Thunder Ranch. Right back there is the shoot house. And a lot going on today, and I'm absolutely worn out. I'm almost finished with three full liters of water, and it was a day like that. I had a blast. I want to talk to you all a little bit about training. And I want to say really clearly, this is not a commercial for Thunder Ranch. So if you're already feeling that way, it is not, not, at, not by a long shot. I'm not a big fan about talking about a lot of money with you all. I like being honest where I get firearms or ammo and stuff that I use. But I paid for this trip. I paid for the airline tickets. I paid for the ammo. I bought the rifle I'm using. I was invited by Clinton Heidi to come, so I came. But that all that expense was on me. And I think it's important for y'all to know that. I want to talk a little bit about training and see what y'all have to say. Today while I was working, and I had a long day. Like, we're taking a long distance. It's a counter sniper course, so it's a four-day course. Today was a, a little bit of classroom and then we just pounded steel and working on targets at different distances. Had the longest shot of my day today, the longest shot of my life today. Went out to 700 yards. I know some of you real snipers, y'all can go way, way, way further than that. But for me, that was a big victory. And I had a hug with my spotter when we were done. Shout out to Jack. But every time we've mentioned training on this channel, and I talked to y'all a little bit in July about it, and I think once in August, people have gotten upset at me. And I don't want to chase the, you know, the interpersonal back and forth over that. I want to say this. I think it's important. I really do. And I think it's important to go through days like I'm going through today. It's going to cost you time. It's going to cost you money. And you're going to be uncomfortable. But that's where I'm at. I want to hear your opinions. What do you think? What do you think about training? And I don't think it's enough to buy a box of ammo down at this store and then go out, shoot 50 rounds, and then put your gun away, clean it, and put it away for the next year. I think we need to train and train often. After June's class, I came here in June and worked on the AR-15. I have never looked at the AR platform, at least in the last 90 days, the same since. I am faster, I'm better, and I just feel better. I've got more muscle memory going on. Now, this class is really, really hard for me. It's a 308 distance course, and I struggled today. I got laughed at a couple times. I did. I got made fun of. Clint said things about Tennessee that hurt my soul. But it's part of the growth process. I, let me ask you all this. Where are y'all at with training? There are places to train and to learn online. There's a lot of classes online. I watch a lot of YouTube videos. You don't have to go through the expense of plane tickets and hotels like I did for this. You can do stuff locally. But my main point is this, and I'm the, the older I get, the more I realize this. Grabbing that box of ammo, going and doing the same thing over and over, month after month, year after year, you're not going to get better. I shoot with guys regularly that are, you know, bad stances and, you know, doing the teacup and they're just shooting the way they've shot for 15, 20 years and they don't get better. I've gotten a lot better since I started in this industry, but I'm not there yet. So time, energy, and discomfort. For me, the big one is discomfort. And I think that's a challenge for all of us. People get upset. They really do. And I hate to come back to that, but I needed to. I've been thinking about that a lot today. How upset people were at me back in June when I was talking about this, and they're like, I don't need to pay X number of dollars to get yelled at by a cranky old man. Well, that cranky old man might be able to teach you something. Maybe not just here, but any, anywhere you find a cranky old dude who's got 50-something years of experience. And then also I've learned a lot just from the guys that, you know, my partner that I was shooting with today, Short Shorts, we had some fun, but we also learned something together. So not to belabor the point, but my single point is this. It's worth it. And that's where I'm at today. I want to challenge y'all with that to get better at what you're doing. I am tired. I'm broke. I found out that the ammo that I brought wasn't that great. Other guys are shooting much, much better ammo. So I was a little bit humbled. And I found out that my rifle that I brought wasn't all that great either. So part of it is discomfort. Hey, where are y'all at? Let me know. You know where it is right down below. Got more coming this week, a lot of fun, and then eventually on the last day, we're going up on that hill way up there and taking a 1,700-yard shot. Holy guacamole. Hmm. Always, thanks for stopping by. Again, I've got nothing but these two fists from my cold, dead hands. Bye.